guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys in today's video. Uh, we'll show you guys how to get rid of orange peel. If you painted something you have uh, orange peel, we'll show you how to do that. Stay with us. Uh, as you know, we've been rebuilding this 2014 Mercedes and... Okay, let me show you. Okay, the orange peel that we have here. Okay, like right here. This is orange peel on the hood. Okay, look at the light now. Look at the light and how that light doesn't look clear. Also, look at all the contamination that we have in the paint. Okay, you can see it like that. Okay, this one right there now. Check it out. Now, this is the part that we already did. And check out the difference now. Crystal clear on this side. You can see the reflection on the, of the Fiesta on the half that we already did. So stay with us to show you how to do it the proper way now. What we use and all that stuff. If you have a really bad orange peel, we recommend starting with 1500 sandpaper, wet sandpaper. Ours is not bad, so we'll just start at 2000. Next we'll be using machine polish by Chemical Guys and rubbing compound. Perfect it's serious by... Uh, Actually, but that's by 3M. Uh, the chemical guys is the nano sewer, M sewer technology right there. But by 3M we'll be using, okay, this is the part number for the core jug. We'll have the tools we use and, and parts in the description of the video. This one can buff scratches, you can see, uh, out of 1200 sandpaper. Remove P12 right here and you buff it between 1400 and 2000 RPMs. So, now we're going to get clean water. Dip the sandpaper and we'll start sanding, but it's very important to know how to do that now. So we close, we close the doors because you have to clean everything, wash it and dry it before you do that. Uh, don't have any dust, sand or anything like that because you're going to damage your paint. So make sure everything's clean, preferably don't wear rings like we do, don't ask why we do it, but if you get the hang of it, you won't do damage. Um, also. We're going to get it wet now, okay? And we're going to dip the sandpaper in water on a, on a soft bog. And uh, once we do that, okay, we're going to start sanding. And we, you go back and forth only. Never go in a circle. When you go in a circle, you cannot buff it easy. And it will not look good because it won't, you won't be able to make it shiny. Another thing is uh, to be very careful when you do the edges. Like right here, you have one edge. Okay, right here you have another edge, because if you don't do it right, you're going to go through the clear coat, don't go too much there. Once we're done, we'll show you what it needs to look like. You might have to stop a couple of times, dry, clean it dry to see if it looks good, so you can proceed with the next step. So we're going to clean it, clean water, clean towel, clean everything. After that we're going to dry it, and once you dry everything you'll know if it's good or not. So we'll show you in just a few minutes. So it's drying now but I can get you an idea what it needs to look like. Okay, you can see this one is the one that's already finished, you can see how shiny that thing is. This one will be matte looking, no, no, gloss, uh, no gloss finish at all. So what you are trying to do, okay, I'm trying to get some light here okay so i can show you okay when you have little holes like that if it's a few it's fine that you can replicate original orange peel okay it needs to look like that matte but look on this side now this thing we have to do more so the only way to find out that okay is by drying it and you can see if you need to do more so we're going to go ahead do a little bit more and we'll be very careful around the edges the second time so we're doing the same thing now, uh, again we're drying the thing to make sure that we don't have any orange peel. So you can see we have a one uniform matte finish now, no holes, just a few here and there little pinholes but that's not bad at all because even the original paint has some orange peel. So what we're going to do now guys, we'll be using a 3M rubbing compound step one. This one right here. So we'll be uh, using a buffing pad. Okay, this is the buffing pad right there. This is machine polish pad. So we need to replace those. Get a little mechanics coming right here to check everything out. His name is Barney. Hey, Barney. Has to sniff it to make sure we get the right one. 
Okay, that's the uh, the uh, buffing part right here, and we'll go about 1900 RPMs on this one. We will do about a quarter of the hood at the time, and it will take about two times, two layers that we'll have to do to make sure that it gets really good. If it's not good, you might have to do a little bit more, depending on uh, what sandpaper you use, all that factors, the color of the paint as well, what kind of clear coat. It's really hard to tell, but usually two coats works really good for us. So that's after after two coats. Okay, let me show you what it looks like after two coats. Okay, you have to get the right angle. You can see we don't have that gloss, uh, that matte finish anymore. It's gloss, it's shiny. Now we need to get a clean microfiber towel and we need to wipe everything down because we will be proceeding with the next step. And this one now. Uh, it's important to remove the first uh, the rubbing compound, anything left on the hood, so uh, the machine polish can buff it and make it even shinier. You see that thing will be like like glass at the end. Now, step two, machine polish. We're going to apply a thin layer on corner of the hood, and this one is in uh, is grain color. Okay, needs to be thin thin layer. Otherwise, it doesn't work as good. And you take two coats again. Go over it twice. It might take three, it might take one, it really depends on how good you polish and all that stuff, like I said, clear coat paint. And, and this time we'll be using a polishing pad. Microfiber towel, clean it again, make sure you don't have any greasy spots. And what we are going to do now, guys, okay? I'm gonna show you in a second. We are going to apply a Glaze Works compound. We found out that this one works really, really good. Let me show you. Okay, it's this one right here by Chemical Guys. Okay, Glaze Works. So, this thing works amazing. So, we're going to uh, shake a little bit Okay, and you can do it by hand or you can do it with the machine between 1000 and 1200 RPMs And usually we work about a quarter of the hood at the time We've been using this one quite a bit you can polish the whole car with that thing in it It makes it really shiny believe me that thing works amazing nothing sponsored here. We buy all the products, but we had such a hard time learning how to get the orange peel the correct way and make sure that the car looks like out of a showroom. Okay, check it out so far. Even the camera cannot focus. I think it smells good. It's kind of like bubble gum or something like that. Okay, so we're going to do it with the machine actually at 1200 RPMs. Alright okay, guys, so check this thing out now. Wow, look at that crystal clear finish and we're not done yet. Stay with us. And last thing, okay, you can do MC work by hand and that prevents fading and protection from ultra ultraviolet rays like UVAs and UVBs. So now what we're going to do 
okay we're going to get clean microfiber towels okay and we are going to go ahead and clean everything that we did so far you need to rub it, ev rub it really good make sure you don't have any greasy spots and we're going to take it in the sunshine and you can see the result if I come on this side let me show you what it looked before okay on the fender in a specific angle I can catch okay some orange peel right here now check it out on the hood okay right here you can see the reflection of the light straight line look at it okay on the fender look at the contamination as well we don't have this one here anymore it's like gloss I can I can even look at it in the sunshine. That thing is it just amazing how shiny that thing is. Okay, look at that thing. Absolutely no orange peel. You can definitely see by the reflection of the sun in the hood. So that's how you fix orange peel. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully the video was helpful. Many more to come. If you need anything, let us know. Hopefully, hopefully it was helpful. Save you some time. And you know what materials to use. Thank you for watching.